In the previous video on Beagle Logic, I showed you the setup in which Beagle Logic was capturing i squares traffic from an STM32 to a i squares audio tag. So before I give away what the song was captured, which I just processed using Beagle Logic and Sigrock Utilities, I just want you to take a random guess on what the song could have been. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you away the song. Let's play this. Since this is digital audio, it sounds just like the original. So we had captured uh, 64 megabytes of data at 10 mega samples per second. So the file is naturally uh, six seconds long, the audio clip. So this audio clip was initially captured using the raw input feature of Beagle Logic, wherein data is directly copied from the Dave Beagle Logic device node into a binary file using a tool such as TD. So I didn't really need to use any logic analyzer client software here, just simple DD command to copy all the data from Dave Beagle Logic to whatever binary file I wanted it to. Then this binary file was then copied over to my uh, PC here, where I did the processing using Sigrox CLI uh, with a uh, I2S protocol decoder, then used a set of shell commands to cut out the relevant data, convert it to binary, and then finally using the SOC software to add the headers to it so that it can be played back in an audio player. Apart from this, uh, you can not only, uh, you can also use the LZO compressor to uh, capture compressed data directly from Beagle Logic. So, Instead of having an OF parameter here, we now pipe the output to a LZOP compressor to generate our output. This is what we get. Notice that every time a capture happens, this uh, an entry gets added into the kernel logs. So after this capture has been done, we can open a uh, we can refresh the window here. And you can see that this compressed2.lzo gives us about a one is to four compression ratio. This greatly depends upon the data that, that is being captured because LZO is a fast compressor, so uh, aggressive compression is not to be expected. Also, apart from using DD directly, we can use the Sigrox suite of tools. So I can type in the command Sigrox CLI uh, D Beagle Logic, B stands for driver. Then uh, the channels I want to capture. So in our case, that, that would be P843, P840 underscore 44, P8 underscore 45. Uh, now we want to add a trigger at the Verselect line to ensure that whenever it falls, we capture data. So we add a T parameter here and is equal to F. F stands for a falling edge trigger. Then samples to set the number of samples you want to capture. Then O followed by whatever the output file that needs to be created. When I press enter, again an action takes place. Uh, we see the capture takes place in the kernel locks. And then this file must have been created here. So there we have another capture.sr file. This file can as of now be opened directly in Pulse View on my desktop because uh, I have mapped the BeagleBone to my computer using SFTP so I can directly access the BeagleBone's file system on my PC without having to copy that file. So capture.sr is selected and there we can see the data has been captured. So now if we wanted to add a protocol decoder here, I'm gonna go ahead and add an i scores protocol decoder and in the decoder, we can go ahead and select the clock line, the voice select line, and the serial data line. After setting all this data, you can see that the decoder correctly processes all the data. So as I scroll down, I can see the data along with the particular logic, uh, logic waveforms. So this is the way, uh, this is the preferred workflow with Beagle Logic, wherein you capture data on the BeagleBone Black using the Sigrock utilities, and then you copy the file onto your PC, or you use a 
or you just SFTP map it and then uh, access it from, from the computer.